Now let's set up the instrument. Here's our flow tracker case. It's nice to know that there's a quick start guide too, so if you forget any of this or just need a quick reminder, that's always there for you. Part of setting up the flow tracker is also setting up the waiting rod, so I'm going to show you how to do that. The waiting rod that comes with the flow tracker is a two-piece top setting waiting rod. Here's the base and here's the top. There's a small diameter rod and a large diameter rod. I screw the large diameter rod in first. And then sometimes you have to lift up the small diameter rod just so it gets within distance of the threads you're looking for. Then use the handle on the top and screw the small diameter rod pieces together. Squeeze the handle to loosen it up so you can make those rotations. And then you can let up on the handle when both rods are fastened together. And the waiting rod works to move the probe up and down in the water column where you need it to. So squeeze the handle and move the small rod up and down as you need. Now the markings on the handle are used to indicate the proper depth for the probe for any given water depth. Now there's a commonly used procedure on how to line up the small rod markings with the markings on the handle. But what's nice about the flow tracker too is that whether you already know how to use the top setting waiting rod or whether you don't, uh, as you'll see later, the flow tracker screen will show you exactly what markings on the small rod need to line up with your handle. Now that we've set up the waiting rod, let's mount the flow tracker. First, I'm going to mount the ADV probe into its bracket. So you'll notice there's a mounting pin here with a, a hole for the set screw. I'm going to guide that in to where it lines up with the set screw. Do my best to make it hand tight here. Feels pretty good, but just as a precaution, let's always take our wrench and tighten it up to the best of our ability. Now at the other end of the probe is the cable. This eight pin connector goes into the handheld. I'm gonna screw down the locking sleeve nice and tight. And then the handheld itself has a bracket that allows you to mount it to the waiting rod. This is the handheld bracket. It mounts with a single screw. I'm gonna screw it into the back here. And then you can adjust the rest of the bracket once it's mounted to the mounting pin based on the, the height you're, you would like to see the screen at. You'll notice there's a mounting pin on top of the flow tracker rod handle. I'm going to set the handheld bracket on top, tighten it down, find the angle that I like, and then tighten this part down. And there's my flow tracker mounting to the rod, ready to go.